Hi, and welcome back. So I had this whole great video planned about uh, doing the um, high voltage battery health test. And I totally messed it up. It was a fail. It took all weekend. So I figured I'd post this video. One, because I promised to post a video about the battery health. But more importantly, I can give you tips to avoid to not make the same mistakes I made and waste the whole weekend. Okay, which is what I did. So let me tell you what happened. So Friday at around 8.30 at night, I had the car at about 20%, 19%, which is really good because you have to be below 50% charge and plugged into your level two charger in order to start the test. So that was all good, right? So I plugged it in, I started the test. It was very easy to get into service mode. Um, so I did that, I got into service mode, I started the test, it gave the warnings, there's a procedure you do, and I'll, I'll, I'm gonna redo the test at some point in the next couple of weeks. Um, and I'll have a video about it. But anyway, so I ran the test. This is at about uh, actually 8.30 at night, Friday night. So the battery drains and it says it can take up to 24 hours. Well, Saturday morning, I get up at about 8.30 in the morning. So roughly 12 hours later and I look and it's down to 7%. Everything I read said when it gets to 5%, it's going to do the uh, charge, you know, start charging. To do the test well i remembered i said oh no i have scheduled charge set so it wasn't going to charge till seven at night saturday so i said well i don't want that let me go turn off scheduled charging while i'm thinking about it and i thought when i restart the test it'll it's already discharged at seven percent it'll pick up it shouldn't take long to discharge it'll charge we'll be fine well what happened was i got in the car i exited service mode and then I went and turned off scheduled charging. As soon as I did, the car started to charge automatically. This was my big mistake. First of all, I should have probably not touched it and it would have worked. But my big mistake was when I turned off scheduled charging, the car began to charge. I hit stop on the screen. So I stopped the charging, but it seemed okay. It stopped. I went back into service mode and then um, I restarted the test. It started the test and it was beginning to discharge. And then I went about my day Saturday. I was doing running around. I was, you know, uh, in a different car, you know, doing my running around for the day. And it got to 5% and then it was going between 5 and 4 all day long. It never charged. And uh, I got home and I said, well, let me let it go. Maybe it wants to sit at a certain level before it's going to charge. I don't know. So I let it go. And then... At midnight, Saturday night, so now we're, I mean, hours and hours, a whole day wasted, I realized, wait a minute, when I hit stop, I don't think it's ever going to charge again until I pull the cable out and put it back in the car. So at midnight, I came out to my garage, I pulled the cable out, put it in, and looking through the window, I saw the car began to charge, and it was in service mode. So I said, great. It'll finish the test now. It's charging up. Well, what happened was it just did a normal charge. And it charged the car. When I woke up, it, it was finished. It was at 90%, which was where I had it set at. It didn't do the complete charge. It did not do the health test. There were no results. So it was an epic fail on my part. So here are some tips. If you're going to do the health test, before you even start, one, turn off schedule charging. Two, when you don't hit stop, so when you plug in the car, it's going to begin to charge. Just let it be charging, then go into service mode and, and begin the test. It'll, when you get into service mode and begin the test, it'll automatically on its own stop the charge the way it should, I'm assuming, and then it'll drain the battery and charge the car. By pressing stop, you kind of, you have to pull the thing in and out, and then when you do that, it's just going to do a normal charge. So you don't want to hit stop. You don't want to be pulling it in and out. That was all a mistake. What I could have done was at midnight when I pulled it in and out and it started charging, I could have gotten the car and started the test. It was at 4% and it would have been successful. It would have probably charged overnight, but I didn't realize that it was late and I, and I messed it up. So again, make sure you have scheduled charge off before you start the test and don't hit stop. When, when it begins to charge and when you plug it in, it begins to charge, get right in the car so it doesn't charge too much. Because remember, you got to be below 50%. But I mean, in a minute or two, it's not going to do much. So <clears throat> you plug it in, 
The car will start to change. Also, as a precaution, make sure you're set to 100%. I don't think that matters. I think the health, health test will override that, but I'm not going to take a chance. So, so uh, turn off scheduled charging, put the charge to 100%, and then go in and, and don't hit stop while because it'll be charging, and then do this the health test, and it should work. So mine was a fail. Uh, I am going to do it again. I don't know when I'll be able to get to it because, as I said in my other videos, I'm going to be dropping the car off at the body shop, and I'll post a video about that on Wednesday with what the estimate is, how long they think it's going to fix. Uh, I'll put a link in that video that I post Wednesday to the original video where I showed the damage on the car, or you can just check out my video history, and you'll see what was done when I, I dented up the right side of the car on the bottom. So that's all coming. Um, so make sure you, you know, uh, like, subscribe. I really appreciate it. I was, I'm kind of sorry. I mean, I'm very sorry that this didn't work because I wanted to see the results and I had been, you know, promising it. So I apologize, but hopefully the tips I just gave are helpful. So you avoid what I did, which is wasting a whole weekend on this. And, um, when I do the test correctly, you know, when I get the car back from the body shop, maybe in a week or two, then I'll post that video. So thanks again. Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. And if you haven't yet, please click subscribe. And we'll see you next time.